Well, we had a, a variety of mixed emotions. Um, it, it's still devastating to us to know that there, there's one more day now that he, my father is being held against his will and uh, living a, a nightmare right now where uh, he's away from everybody he knows and loves and all he wants to do is get back to his family. So at the same time, we're optimistic and hopeful because um, I think that this improved relationship between the U.S. and Iran uh, could open a f some doors and, and uh, keep these negotiations and, and discussions between our two governments going, which hopefully can lead to my father's eventual release and, and a return home to us. It's never going to be enough until, until my dad is home. And um, I, I just saw that President Obama uh, spoke about it a few, a few uh, minutes ago. And we can only hope that he now sees that opportunity to make my dad priority number one at this point. That now that this deal is done, I think my father's safe return home should be the top of the agenda for the U.S. and Iran as they go forward. What better way for Iran to show it, it's good, a goodwill gesture than by helping by my father returning him home to us? Because right now the whole world is watching Iran and and wants to see what's, what, what's going to happen next now that these... The, negotiations are finished. Yesterday was uh, rough, uh, to say the least, but um, we got to look at it that way, that, that it's, it's the beginning of a new relationship, and hey, hopefully this moves things forward to get my dad out of there more quickly.